we just completed two days of consultation with Father General um, on higher education, Jesuit higher education in the United States. Um, the idea for this consultation was uh, actually born with Father General. He, he initiated the idea where um, he said that he would like to learn more about the different facets of higher education as it pertains to our unique situation in the United States. He said he wanted to listen in to uh, what a representative group from the American institutions had to say. So what we did was we recruited um, seven presidents. Uh, most were Jesuits, but several were lay, are lay presidents. Um, we also um, invited two of the academic vice presidents or provosts of the institutions. So those are the people in charge of faculty. And we invited two provincials. Um, and we invited two of the board chairs, these laymen and women with Jesuits who help supervise run the institutions. Um, so the 12 of us sat with him and um, uh, true to his word, he said he wanted to listen. Father General simply listened and uh, at the end of each day, he made some comments which uh, impressed everyone that he had truly been absorbing everything that we had to say about our issues in the United States. See, I think we're at a moment in the United States where we're trying to take very seriously uh, what it means to be both a Catholic and a Jesuit institution of higher education. Our institutions are very different. Some are very large, some are small. Some are very complex with many different disciplines and faculties. And some are um, very simple, very one direction focused. So he wanted to hear about the variety of issues and also to hear whether there was a thread, a continuous thread that would run through some of those. Recently, we developed um, a document called um, Characteristics of Jesuit Colleges and Universities. It's called a self-evaluation instrument. Um, the seven characteristics in this document uh, outline what a Catholic university and a Jesuit university might look like, um, how, how the Catholicity and the Society of Jesus itself is uh, represented inside the institution. So, for example, the, the document, one of the, one of the characteristics is that a, a Jesuit and Catholic university um, is one that has specifically Catholic-centered programs and programs that are unique to Jesuit schools and programs that are not unique to Jesuit schools, but perhaps programs of service, um, programs uh, that stress the Catholic intellectual tradition. And each institution using this evaluation instrument uh, then tries to uh, do a, a self-reflection uh, on how it is living up to these characteristics of Jesuit schools. Um, another characteristic would be um, we would expect every Jesuit university to serve the local church and to serve the universal church. And each institution has to decide how it does that and explain how it does that. Um, a Catholic institution is one that recruits faculty and administration that are sympathetic to the Catholic and Jesuit mission. They don't have to be all Catholics and certainly they're not all Jesuits, but they have to, these that are recruited have to be sympathetic to the Catholic mission. Um, so the instrument is, is designed for us to um, do, as I said, self-reflection. He wanted to understand how we understand this instrument, Father General did. So um, I think he, uh, he enjoyed very much listening to the way we both try to understand these characteristics, but the unique challenges that come about because of the United States situation in higher education today. So, in, for example, um, we talked extensively about secularization, uh, materialism, um, careerism, uh, and how those, uh, those color 
the, the students, the faculty, the way we do business, and also how they are the challenge for us for bringing an evangelical message to students and to faculty. Um, so the discussion was very rich, uh, I think, and I think Father General, Father General said several times that he enjoyed it very, very much. How is this perhaps um, something that uh, could be useful in other parts of the world? Um, I think all of us, um, whether we're South American or African or European or Asian, um, all of us are struggling with how to make our institutions effective instruments for um, the work of the society. And all of us face uh, very similar challenges. And so all of us are dealing with the same issues, but maybe in a different way in each place. So the process we are going through, first the writing of the document, the examination of the document, and then how we will use this instrument. Perhaps this could be a lesson or helpful or useful um, to our schools in other parts of the world. We will see. So uh, this consultation, um, Father General took many notes. Uh, he asked me to take many notes. Um, this will become the basis for his talk to the provincials, the presidents, rectors, through to the, the trustee chairs. And um, I, I think because of the consultation, uh, he feels um, he's got, he has some good ideas about what he needs to say. We asked him to uh, both encourage us and to challenge us with what he heard. And I think he will be in a very good position to do that. So maybe even this process of Father General hearing from people in different parts of the world, we brought them here to Rome. Um, perhaps this is, a, this is a process that will help him be a more effective uh, leader for us uh, in the future. So, so that's the hope uh, and the, um, hopefully the expectation uh, that we leave this uh, two days with.